the drug, drug trade in Fiji is actually driven by a combination of factors, including the country's strategic location in the Pacific, sometimes it is poverty, corruption, unemployment, and others that you are all familiar with. Fiji also serves as a transit point for drug trafficking organizations that transport drugs from the Asian region to Australia and New Zealand, who are the key international markets for illicit drugs. The illicit drug trade in Fiji has also been fueled by our own growing drug addiction problem, which has led to an increase in drug-related crime and violence. The drug trade in Fiji, as it does in any country, erodes the social fabric of our community, resulting in devastating impact on individuals and families who are affected by drug addiction and drug-related crimes. To confront this, here on the coalition government, in consultation with relevant agencies, have developed the National Counter Illicit Narcotic Strategy 2023-28, which was approved by Cabinet last week, to counter these illicit activities within our EEZ, which is quite large. This uh, strategic document lays out a whole of nation approach in this fight against illicit narcotics. And, and in my view, this is a very significant step for the country, consolidating all our efforts to address the drug problem in Fiji that we are currently experiencing. 